Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, welcome back to Quintero Love. Today I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the five miles, the first five miles of the All Bears uh, training season. Uh, it is uh, March 9, Thursday, March 9 in the afternoon, and the afternoon is beautiful. I'm gonna drive to, to the five mile station and then I'm gonna start training. Today I'm gonna start formally my clock. I already put everything back from the winter time. And then I'm gonna start, I'm gonna set up my, my, my clock here to start training. Eh, vamos a empezar ya a entrenar con el reloj. A ver cómo empieza a funcionar la cosa, a qué tiempo se demora. Eh, a la hora que la solté y todo. Y vamos a ver si le damos 5 millas. La tarde está hermosa. Vamos a abrirle la trampa. Let's open the trap. You can see there. I pull this and then the trap open. I'm gonna leave it open and then when I let them go, because probably they're gonna come before me, they can go straight and enter. I already have the food here for them. I am giving it a little, a lot of barley. It's like 80% barley. Uh, because I want them to lose some weight, also I want to try the Malofin system. If you follow his channel, he's a, he's a well-known pigeon fancier. Let's see how it works this year. Ahí como pueden ver, le estoy dando bastante barley a las palomas para que bajen un poco de peso. Y este año voy a tratar el sistema de Malofin, que es darle bastante barley con, y, y, así se, y entrenar menos las palomas. Mantenerla más bien en forma, media flacona para que huelen más, vamos a ver cómo funciona el sistema. Uh, this system is gonna keep the pigeons uh, less heavy, I mean, like more skinny. And then he said that he used it and it works well. He's a, a non-fancier. Let's see how it works. Let me know your input. You can see there the food, it's a lot of barley. Uh, let's see how it works and then you can follow my channel and probably you, you can you can see if my pigeon's gonna fly well with this system or not. The system is based in, in a lot of barley through the racing season and then you don't have to road train them that much and then you keep them skinny and then they can fly faster. Okay, this is my five miles station. It's a beautiful open space. Estas son la, las cinco millas. Es como, como una montañita así. Y es todo abierto. Aquí es donde hay unos cables, pero ellas generalmente no. Ya cuando llegan ahí están un poco más altas. There are some wires here, but usually when they go around, they're a little higher there. And they, it's not a problem. I'm gonna set up my clock. I'm gonna show you how do I set up uh, remotely my benzene clock M3. And then. I can get the exact time of liberation and the exact distance uh, from my loft. Okay, this is my benzing uh, app. I just uh, click in there. Uh, oh, let me log in because I haven't logged in for a while. Okay, now I am inside of the app here. I go to the actual training, today is March uh, 9. I click in there, and then when I go to management, uh, I put training name, for example, I'm gonna call it, uh, I'm gonna call it my first official training. And then now, uh, the distance I go to more here, I say find my liberation point. Oh, get my location, sorry. No, it's get my location, and then you can see there that it's 4.879 miles. Um, yes, 4.879 miles, and then I can also find it in the map, but that is good enough for me. And then when I go here, I said release pigeons, and then the time is gonna change. You can see there 409, it changed the time at the release point. I'm gonna wait a little more, uh, like five more minutes and then I'm gonna liberate the birds. Okay, let's then let's then go. Okay, go up. 
ser a little windy today also. Hoy también está un poquito ventoso. They are going so low. Yeah, they are getting as high already. The sun is right there. You can see they are heading to the right direction now. Ahí están yendo eh, la dirección que tienen que ir. Ya vamos a empacar y vamos a ir para la casa. Okay, now they are coming back. Ahora están mirando. Uh, there is one that is split from the group. Now they are really high. Okay, now they are going. They are going well. Ahora se están yendo para donde tienen que ir. Vamos a, a irnos y la esperamos en la casa. Okay, I am arriving at my home now. I just saw them like coming in. It looks like it took a little while for them to to get in, let's check. I just saw them passing by. Oh, yes, they are entering there. You can see them entering. They just got in. I mean, most of them, I don't know if all of them, but. Let's check how many do we have. Oh yes, I think that I got... I'm still missing few, but I think that I got most of them probably. You see, it's good when you leave the food here because they can... They come straight. And they enter really fast, and they, they know that the food is there. Oh, there is one more coming there. There's one more. Yeah, they are coming. Yeah, I think that I have all of them. Yeah, I creo que vinieron todos. Vinieron bastante rápido. Vamos a fijar, no, no recibí ninguna aplicación en la aplicación. Ninguna notificación en la aplicación, pero vamos a fijarnos afuera en el reloj a ver si está bien. I think, oh, there is one more. I didn't receive any notification in my phone, but I. But let's check the. Oh, there is one more. Two more. Let me just close here and they, they can enter and eat. Yeah, you can see here I have all of them. And then, let me see the speed. Oh, because I, I didn't put the distance here. I got to set it up uh, here, and then it's gonna show me the, the speed. Okay, this is what I'm gonna put in the water for my all bear racing thing. It's uh, 15 milliliters per liter of water. And then I do this uh, once a week, at least. They finish eating already. I put uh, I put some grit also. Ya terminaron de comer. Le puse algo de grit ahí también. Y entonces le pongo el agua aquí abajo para que tomen todas ahí rápido. Y ya después se la subo al stand ese de ahí. I put the water here that they all, all of them can drink without fighting. And then I put the water there in the stand and they won't get any dust or anything. Okay guys, this is just uh, another little video of my training. Let me know what you what do you think about that feeding method of the barley, 80% barley. 
Uh, I'm gonna put you a, not a link, but I'm gonna put you in the in the comment section. I'm gonna put you the the name of the of the pigeon fancy that does that. He has a YouTube channel also. Probably most of you know him. And then uh, let me know what do you think. Oh, look at that. That is a young bird that just flew over my head. Now she's flying back. <laughs> These are the young birds here. I have to clean this a little bit. Okay, let me know what do you think about this feeding method of a lot of barley. And do you think that it's uh, not enough uh, nutrient for the birds, so it's gonna be fine? Déjeme saber qué piensan del del sistema de alimentación con mucho barley. Si si creen que que tengo que alimentarlas más o o que crean que sea suficiente. Este, este hombre, Marlofen, es, es, un, es un palomero bien conocido mundialmente y, y él, él atesta que, que ese método lo ha ayudado mucho a él a, hacer, a ganar muchas carreras. Voy a tratarlo este año y a ver. Eh, I mean, Marlofen ha said that he is a well-known pigeon fancier and then he said that this method of the barley has helped him win a lot of races. I'm gonna try it for my old birds and let's see. Look at this is a young bird that just passed by. Look at how beautiful it is. Este es uno de los de los young birds que pasó para el lado acá y mira qué cosa, qué bonito está. Es es un dark check. It's a beautiful. It's a big one. Man. Okay, guys. See you next time.